Howard with Ashley Howard Teaches, and I am so excited to bring to you my kindergarten haul. I have so many books and so many homeschool curriculums to share with you. Before we get started, could you hit that subscribe button and that like button and tell me below how many years have you been homeschooling? I love to hear. Okay, so we are going to start with math. So for kindergarten math, we use Horizons. Now here's what I love about Horizons. It's so colorful and it goes at a quicker pace, but not too quick. So you feel like they're really learning math, but they're not getting bored with dull worksheets. And so I have found that this program has been so good for our family. All right, so let me do a quick flip through to show you really quick the inside of Horizons and what it looks like. So as you can see, we're talking about shapes, we're drawing our numbers, but there are two books in the kindergarten one. So as you go farther, you're starting to write numbers. Now you're counting cents. And as you go farther and farther, you're going to see it become more and more advanced. All right, so now we're starting to add. We're drawing shapes. We're doing what number is after. We're counting by tens. We're doing clocks. So there are so many good things. We're doing money. We're counting ones and tens. And look, we're starting to get into double digits here. We're measuring with a ruler. So it is a phenomenal program. So it's so exciting to watch them learn with this kindergarten book. So this is book one. There's a book two as well. So that is our kindergarten math. All right, so to start off, we're going to start with handwriting. So I love this book to start our kindergarten year because it goes slow. And then I like to move on to a different book. This book is Learning Without Tears. It's the Get My First School book. So this one starts out really easy and simple. And I will do a flip through of all of these books. So you'll be able to see this in a minute. After I do this book in kindergarten year, I move on to a reason for handwriting. So this one starts off super simple, super easy. As you can see, the letters, we're doing them a couple times. So it's not very advanced, but it's really good for those first couple weeks of kindergarten. So this one I highly suggest. All right, also for math, for this age, I love teaching them skip counting because it helps them so much with multiplication later on. So I have this as a free printable for you down below. So you can check that in the description. It goes through all the skip counting numbers to 15. So you'll go through all of these. All right, so I also like to involve some puzzles and some games in our math time. So this one is a great math puzzle. It's easy, but they have addition, they have subtraction, and it's fun for them to start off with in the morning. Maybe while you're reading or doing something like that with your older kids, they can be doing their math puzzles. So it's so good, it's hands-on, it's fun, and it's colorful. And that's what I love for kindergarten. All right, so something else I like to do for math time for kindergarten it is this. Now, I believe I found this at Walmart. It's so easy, it's school starters, and maybe it was $10 or less. But what's really cool is they have these tiny little cubes and they get to count with these cubes. There's also a spinner in there where they make it fun and you get to add two more to the number that you got. So it's really cute inside. It includes all of this. Super simple, but super fun for them with the dry erase and the hands-on materials. All right, so another thing that I love to do to make math fun for kindergarten is play math war. So what they do is they're gonna play war and you get this half the cards each person and you play war just like you used to, but they have to add up in their brain what their card is to see if it beats your card. So that one is super fun. They love to play it and get back to my kids would always ask to play it outside of math time, but it really helps them to increase their math skills and to learn Learn more and they have cute little graphics on there so it's super sweet and super fun I lost the box but I will link it down below okay, so one of my favorite games is some swamp now this one is so cool because they're adding and subtracting all right so as you can see they get these little mover pieces that they get to move along they add and they subtract as they go along super sweet games it's from learning resources so it's really well made and my kids always ask to play this so this is a really good game another super fun game is is this high seas adventures game now this one is super simple super easy but what it helps them to do is to make 10 so they're gonna learn 5 plus 5 is 10 8 plus 2 is 10 6 plus 4 is 10 and so on so that's really good because that is such an important skill as they learn math to be able to get to 10 and then to move on farther so that's why I just love this game that is a super easy one and super fun to add into your homeschool curriculum all right so let's move on to reading so my hands down favorite reading program is all of about reading. All right, so you will see those links down below. All right, so for All About Reading, there's a teacher's manual and a student manual, and there are three different books 
You need all of it. Buy all of it. Anything you see from them, buy it. It is so, so, so good. I just love it. All right, so let me flip through the teacher's manual. All right, so this is level one teacher's manual. Now, what I love about this is it tells you everything that you need. So you need the student packet, which includes activity cards. You can also get the interactive kit. You need the readers for sure. And they have all types of craft materials and different things that you need. So what's great about this program is that it goes to lesson one and you can move as slow or as fast as you need to. So it tells you exactly what to say and it tells you exactly what to do and exactly what to use. So it'll tell you phonogram cards one through four, word cards, blast off to reading page seven. It's a very friendly user manual. All right, so we're gonna start off, what does the letter say? We're gonna go through all those. But as you can see very early on in this first lesson, we're putting letter sounds together. So you're not going really slow. They actually go at a very fast rate. All right, so as you can see, it goes through reading super fast. It tells you what activity page to complete, so they do have a hands-on activity page. Here is the hands-on activity page. My daughter has already cut these out from years ago, so I'm buying a new book soon for this. But as they go through, they, they cut this out and they read this. So it's hands-on, it's fun. They have a reading log as well. So as you go through these pages, they're going to learn so much. They get to do so many fun games. They get to cut out words. So it's hands-on, it's interactive. It's super cute and my kids have all adored this. So it goes really slow at first and then as they go through it increases in difficulty. They have words and phrases that they're reading. So it's a super well done book. They have cute little books that they get to read from. And the other wonderful part about this program is these books right here. They are so good. So you'll buy these all three of the level one readers. And so they start out really slow with Pam and Jam. And so as you can see, it's just super cute, super sweet little stories. But as they move along in the year, they're getting to sentences. Now this is just book one. So by the end of the year, they'll be in book three. So let me show you where they end up. All right, so this is level one, book three. So this is the third book in the series. And do you see how much they are reading? Isn't that so exciting? By the end of the year, they will be reading this much. So I don't know about you guys, but this excites me to no end, to know that my kindergarten's gonna start out knowing Pam and Jam and end here at this level. Oh my goodness, I love this program. All right, so another thing I picked up was from Live, Love, Laugh, and Teach. And what's really cute is they have these little word cards and you make the words with these sticks, with the sticks in here, the popsicle sticks, and then you make these words. So it's great for spelling and for reading. You put Play-Doh down, they put the sticks in, and they get to make the words. She already has the words pre-printed in here and the popsicle sticks, so it takes out all the work for you. So I will leave that link down below. It helps them with their fine motor skills as well, so this is a win for me. So I love these. And then as we get the sight words, I love this sight word bingo. They have all sorts of different cards, so you can pick the words that you're working on. They do sight word bingo, super cute, super sweet and fun for them. I also have seen online where you build a caterpillar and I will leave the link down below. It's really cute and they get to put their sight words and they get to hang it up on the wall as they go. So that's a really cute idea too. All these ideas will be listed down below. And so another thing that I love for kindergarten is this spelling puzzle. It's so cute. It helps them with their fine motor skills. It's a fun, another thing that's fun to do in the morning. I'm a big believer in puzzles. It helps with their mind. It helps with their spelling. It helps with their fine motor skills. So that's just a triple win for me. Another thing I love is this Bernstein Bear Puzzle. It has 48 pieces. And the thing I love about this puzzle is that the puzzle pieces are sturdy and that they're big pieces. So it's easy for them to make. It's a great thing to spread out as you're reading Bible in the morning or maybe you're reading a science book and they're having a hard time attending and sitting still. Well, this keeps their hands busy and their mind busy, but they're also learning at the same time. So this was a great one for me. All right, so now I want to show you some books that I have loved as well. I'm going to do these really quick because I'll list them down below. All right, so some of the books that we have loved are this Curious George and Friends Favorite Stories. So this was a really good one. I know there's a lot of people who love Curious George. This one was really sweet. It has the best stories in there, like Katie Kangaroo and Pretzel. And so we love this one. Another one that I love is this Bernstein Bears Follow God's Rules. So they're learning virtues, they're learning about the Lord, and they're super cute, fun stories. So this is a great one for us. 
Another one of my favorite things is Do the Right Thing. It's the Living Light series of the Bernstein Bears. So it's all Christian. And that's what I love about these. It's not just random stories. They're learning values. They're learning how to love the Lord and how to love people. So another book that we have absolutely adored is Rock the Boxin. I don't know how many people have heard about this book, but it was suggested to me. It's super sweet. It's, it has wonderful, beautiful words and imagery. And it talks about kids and they make up their own little world that's made of rocks and they have their own little town. It's super sweet and really cute. And my kids ask for this book all the time. This is definitely one that we will be reading in kindergarten and talking about. It's great for vocabulary words as well. All right, so some more great books are Bernstein Bears Around the World, talks about different countries, gets them accustomed to talking about different cultures, different countries, and what different people like. And another one for animals is My Visit to the Zoo. This one is a really good detailed account of animals. All right, another top favorite of mine for kindergarten is Make Way for Ducklings. This one has been a staple in our kindergarten forever, so this is a great one. Okay, so some more of my favorites are Chicka Chicka Boo Boom. Who doesn't love this one for letters and sounds? All right, and then these series, A Picture Book Of, talks about different people in history, but it's really low key, but it tells so much information. So it's easy to read and these kindergartens can really learn about these famous people. So this is a great one. Another one we just love for fun is I'm going on a bear hunt. There's also I'm going on a leap hunt. So these are super fun, super sweet. I love these series for Dr. Seuss where they talk about if I, and this one talks about horses. So I love horses, I grew up riding horses. So this one is super sweet, it talks about all sorts of different horses, but there's so many of these Dr. Seuss books that are learning books, that have, they're the learning library, and so they are so good and so informative, and they do it in poetry, so it's good for them to learn that too. I love these cute, if you give a dog a, or if you give a, these are really cute, there's a whole series on these, these are one of my favorites. I love this Greg's microscope. So it shows them what they have a microscope, what the different slides would look like inside. And I have a great microscope that I love that's kid-friendly, so I will leave that down below too. It also has a workbook where they can look through, they can put different things on a slide. So please don't forget to check that out because it's really good. It's a great gift for Christmas or birthday as well. So another book that we love is The Relatives Came. That's a good one. I also picked this up this year. I'm super excited about it. It's by Master Books. It's called Bugs. So they get to talk about how God made all these different bugs, but they go into great detail. So it's super, it's super easy to read for kindergarten, but not too easy. So you can include all ages in this. It's really good, really informative, takes a close look at different bugs and really describes them well. I can't wait to read this. It's going to be so interesting. So for science, we love the seat inside your body and the flip flap body book. So those are both really good. They talk about anatomy and they talk about your body and what you see in your body and what happens in your body and there's flaps. So this is really good for science, for them learning about lungs and hearts and all sorts of different things. So this one was really good, but not too detailed that it wouldn't be appropriate. And then the flip flap body book is so sweet. It's perfect for this age, preschool, kindergarten. You can check that out as well. We'll leave it down in the link below. The series that we love for science is this master's books and it's Let's Talk About Science series. So these are great for your younger ages. I really like these for kindergarten. I mean, they're so good. All right, so I wanna flip through this for you really quick and show you what it looks like inside. All right, so here's our Let's Talk Science from Master Books, and this is Adventures on Planet Earth. There's three different levels. I chose to show you level three. I think they're all pretty comparable. I think level one starts kind of slow. So what's great is they have a master material list. It tells you everything you need to get ready for each week all these fun different experiments and then it tells you exactly what to do complete these assignments do these things so this is such a good curriculum i love this so what i love about this is the focus on the lord it talks about how the lord made the earth and everything in it but it goes through all sorts of different science topics so it tells you bible stories to read it tells you verses and it talks all about different vocabulary terms for science and then you get to draw, you get to apply it. They have different experiments that you do. So these are great for science. It's such a good curriculum for this age and so hands-on. And it's just a great curriculum. So as you can see, 
They go through so many different topics. They can write, they can copy. Now with kindergarten, you might not want to do all the handwriting, but it's great to read. So that's it. Let's talk science series. All right, so something else I love is all of Lou Giglio's science devotionals. It's devotionals that has a focus on science and a focus on the Lord. So it's a Bible devotional for your students. It's so good, so sweet, and so age appropriate. I love these books for first through fifth, sixth. They are great. So they have three different ones of these books. They may have more now, I'm not sure. But this is The Wonder of Creation. There's there's two other titles as well. So I will link those down below. But these are really good, really sweet. Great for in the morning when you're doing your Bible time. Speaking of Bible time, I have so many Bibles I want to share with you really quick. Let me share with you. All right, so I'm sorry. I couldn't just pick one devotional for, for you for today for kindergarten. So I picked all the different things. Now these are great. So let's say you don't finish all these. They'd be great through first grade, through second grade, through third grade, through fourth grade. So they're great to have on hand. So this first one is Amazing Stories for Young Believers. Now I always like to flip inside. So I want to show you. So what I love about these right here is that they're not... They're not just Bible stories, like your basic Bible stories. They really go in depth. So they get a lot more meat on the bone for these different ones. And so these are really good. And so this one says, what does God think about religious celebrations? And so it goes through all these different things where they really have to think about what they, what they believe. And it goes through these different answers, but all biblically based, all based on the Bible, Bible verses. I got this at Focus on the Family in Colorado. So if you ever go to Colorado Springs and you go to, you can go to the Focus on the Family Library, it's amazing. So plug for them, it was so good. I bought so many books there, I can't even tell you. All right, so this is a great one. So another one I have is 100 Adventurous Stories for Boys. I believe they have girls too. I'm 99% positive I bought that one before too. But this one, it talks about great heroes of the Bible. So it talks about Elijah, and it has all these different heroes of the Bible, and, and different people that have done great things for the Lord. And it tells their story in these bite-sized pages, and so it's not too hard to read, but it talks about these great people who've accomplished great things for Jesus. And I love that. So this is one of my favorite new books that I'm gonna be reading this year. All right, another book that I love is these I Am. It's 40 Reasons to Trust God. Ha, ah, can you get any better than that? All right, so it goes through our Bible stories. All right, so this one I love. It's really colorful. It's really done well. It talks about from Genesis 2 through 3, and it goes through the story of Genesis. It goes through all the different stories of the Bible, but in a very detailed fashion. I think this one's produced by Tommy Nelson. This one is so good. It's so well written. All the colors caught my eye, but I, I don't want to just a basic book. I always look for very detailed books so that my kids can really learn new things about Jesus. So that really excites me. So this one was a win for us. So I love this one. Okay, so another one I love. So this is God's Mighty Warrior devotional. They also have a girl's devotional as well. This is by Sheila Walsh. So this one is really good because it just asks questions and it talks about the Bible and different things that you may face and what the truth is. So it happens, it's like what happens when you fall down and scrape your knee? So different questions like that, activities you can do. So this one is a really sweet one. It talks about stories in the Bible, how you can be an adventurer for Jesus. It just doesn't get much better than this. So this is one we have truly loved as well. Okay, and last for our devotionals, the, my ABC Bible verse book is great for preschool through second grade. So it talks about stories that they may deal with. So like this one is, I want ice cream. Why won't you buy me ice cream? And they're mad about something. And so then it goes through on different ways that you can act without grumbling and complaining. It gives the Bible verse, it tells a story about somebody that this happened to and what they were able to do. And they make mistakes along the way and they learn how they should have acted. So this one is so good because as they go along, they can learn these Bible verses with the letter and then they can also learn from these stories on how to love the Lord in all situations, even when everything isn't perfect. 
So this one is great as well. Another favorite is these Evan Moore books. Now they have a poetry book that is phenomenal. I could not find it. It's for the younger ages, first through third. It's poetry, they do shape poetry and all different things. So I highly suggest that one. I'll link it down below. This one is write a super sentence. Now I did this last year with my second grader even. These are great because they add in adjectives along the way. They're given a picture and they write as many super sentences as they can but they give them words to organize their thoughts with, like which words do you wanna use? Do you wanna use that it was hairy? Do you wanna use that it was tall or clever? So these are really good. So as you can see, they can write these sentences. It's a super simple format, but they're able to make their stories and write about different things. So this one's describe what kind of pizza, write a super sentence about it. So, and then they give you adjectives along the way as well. So this is really good for starting out writing. All right, so I forgot to mention earlier, I bought this Scholastic phonics stackers and these are so good. They talk about word families and you get to make these little ice, they give you little pieces to make ice cream cones and they get to read the words as long as they make these ice cream cones. So they might have the app cone and as they get the app cone, they have to find this ice cream scoop and this ice cream scoop and this ice cream scoop. So it just makes it hands on fun and works with word families. So here's like the pieces. So here's the little ice cream scoops. They have little cones and they stack them along the way. So I love that one and I had to share it with you. All right, let's move on to art. All right, so one more thing I forgot to share with you is for science. Now these are so good. They're little experiment cards. I love these different ones. So like this is make a fire a balloon rocket and then it tells you why did this happen? It tells you the science behind it. I will link these cards down below. They are super good. These have been some of my favorites for kindergarten because they're just super easy little science experiments like make a rubber band boat. Why does it go forward? What do you do? So it gives you all the materials and they're just really fun. I think these are by Usborne, but I'll leave the link down below. All right, so for art, some of my favorites are this art ideas book. Now this one's by Usborne as well. So they give you different ideas to make art. So it tells you all the materials that you need. They're really easy, but they're really detailed. So I love these, it includes all these different, this one's charcoal. And so you can, they talk about the color wheel. They talk about using different colors together, how to make these different drawings. They give you step by step. So these are really good, a little more advanced maybe, but they're good for, for I think like K through six. This is a great book. All right, so another book that we loved is for art history is the famous art sticker book. So this one's really cute because they get to put stickers down. Now maybe you're thinking my kindergarten doesn't need to know art history, and they probably don't, but this one's fun because they get to learn about the great artists, they get to pull the sticker off and put it on the actual painting. So they learn about all the great artists. They're gonna put on the Mona Lisa and they learn about Leonardo da Vinci and how he was an inventor. And they do all these different stickers that they put on as they learn about him. So that's a great one for art history. Probably my favorite series is this Draw Right Now series. I have books one through six set down there and I highly recommend all of them. I ended up just buying one at a time, but I wish I would have just bought the set and had the set because I ended up buying them and it cost me more. So what's really cute is they give you step-by-step -step drawings, but not only that, my favorite part is they write about them too. So sometimes I would have my kids write the words exactly as they are right here for handwriting practice, or I would just have them make up their story as they go along and write that. So easy graphics, but they learn to do write and to draw. Now, as they get older, there's a cursive book like this where they draw a little bit, like much, much better, but this is just a very simplistic view, but they learn about horizon line, they learn about different colors and about perspective and different things like that. So this is really good. They have a whole set, I'll leave it down below, it's, it's a great purchase because they can use these for so long, so good. All right, so for geography, for our kindergarten year, we're gonna be talking about the US. So we do CC, which is a great community of believers who have different communities all around where they do CC and they, they come together and they do math and art and science and history and do so many great things. But for this cycle, for this year, we're doing geography. So this one is great. This one's Scrambled States of America. It's a really cute geography game where they can learn the states and capitals. I also bought this giant map. I think it was for Target in the $3, $5 section, but it's just cute so they can throw 
a Skittle or a piece of candy, or I can put candies out and then we name the state as we go along. Just really easy, really fun. I also love this geography books for different countries. We also have the USA Bingo, which is really cute. So as I name the bingo, I also name the capital. So it helps them to remember as well. I also love for different countries, I love Galloping the Globe. This one's great because it has book recommendations. It shows you the different countries. They get to color them. It's reproducible. They can identify different countries. They talk about, oh, this one's cute Christmas around the world, different things. So they get to learn about all these different countries. They get to make their flag, but my my favorite part is that they have all these resources listed. You can get these books, you can go to these places, you can see this here. So this one is great. I love this book because it has the flags, you get to fill in information about the countries. And what I love about this one is you can string this up and laminate these copies. I have a laminator listed below that I love and that I use all the time if you're looking for a good laminator. But I string these up and they can see all the different flags that they've made through the year. So another thing that you will not want to miss is Gather Round. This is early reader. This is the botany. You have a teacher's manual too where you read all about different subjects. It's unit based. So this is botany. They have everything from South America, North America, botany, living off the land, vehicles. They have so many different subjects, but they are so good. This is the early reader, so they're going to write botany, and I have reviews, I believe, on this, but they have Bible verses that they write about, but they learn about plants as they go along, and they get to color and do all these fun things. So please, if you have time, check them out. But just remember, kindergarten is for learning and for loving to learn. So if they're hitting that reading and math, that's the most important things. And everything else is supposed to be fun and light and getting their appetites ready to learn and excited about learning. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Would you give me a like if you enjoyed it? Don't forget to hit subscribe. I will be coming out with new reviews, new ideas for you for homeschooling. And I would love to hear from you. Please tell me how many years have you been homeschooling and what would you love to see next on my next video? I would love to hear from you. It was so good to talk to you. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.